The internet this past week has been going wild. We've always been a wild place. Okay, true, it is always wild, but especially this week with the announcement, the recent announcement of ChatGPT or OpenAI's new plugin that's released, which is Code Interpreter. Now, this is still in closed alpha form, so it's not available to everyone just yet. You do need to sign up to have access to it, but this plugin specifically is a game changer for not only people who work in tech, but also to for companies as a whole. Let me show you what exactly I mean. The plugin offered by ChatGPT called Code Interpreter is really going to change the way we work with AI, with technology, in so many matters. I'm going to read to you exactly what the company says that it does. The plugin offers a working Python interpreter in a sandboxed environment, also to, according to OpenAPI, AI. The plugin can effectively solve mathematical problems, both qualitative and quantitative, perform data analysis, data visualization, and also convert files across formats. I've seen a lot of times uh, GIFs being created with this and to a lot of people uploading interesting CSV files and now this code interpreter taking it and turning it into data visualization. Is this the end of everyone in the data world, data analysts and data scientists, or is this a tool that they can really use and hone in on? Let's go through some examples of what people are building with this. I don't have access to it at this moment. I input my information and I'm fingers crossed that I get access to it soon. So in the meantime, let's go through some. There was this individual, this user on Twitter here that uploaded a CSV file of every lighthouse location in the US. It said to ChatGPT code interpreter, create a GIF of a map of the lighthouse locations where the map is very dark, but each lighthouse twinkles. A couple seconds later, this appeared where it's a full blown GIF and it's accurate as to where where lighthouses are located in the US. Now you might be thinking, Tiff, this seems so small, who cares, it created a GIF. But when you think of this at a larger scale, how it is able to really take data and information and output it in a way that is visualized, humans can understand, there are endless possibilities when we think businesses utilizing this for their data, uh, when we think individuals being able to, before this, you would have to write so much code to get this or use other programs. This, you literally can put in plain English what you want and receive data visualization as the output. All right, let's look at another example. So this Twitter user actually input to analyze 300 hours of Spotify favorites playlist with ChatGPT code interpreter. GPT showed me how to export from the Spotify API, ran multi-dimensional PCA and TSNE analysis, analysis, <laughs> I can't speak today, all these words, and summarized my taste for me. It's wild, look at these graphs. They are so detailed. And then you go in the thread here, you can see, uh, different tweets around it um, where this individual is creating more graphs and the details for this graph are next level. Now, a lot of people are asking, are these graphs actually accurate? And so far the people who have had access to playing around with them are saying they are. They are producing real data or correct data. Now this could vary based on what information the code interpreter is getting access to. If you're uploading something such as a CSV, of course it's going to have that specific data and be very accurate versus if you're asking it to get data from the internet, Maybe it might not be so accurate, maybe it will. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. I wanna remind you, ChatGPT was released in November. November of last year, that's less than a year ago. And I know some of us are so tired of talking about this ChatGPT and AI, but it really is different than the hype it was around Web3 and NFTs, meaning that really blew up and then it came back down. I think this hype with AI is here to stay. Why I think that is because we are seeing direct impact for people's jobs, both positive and negative, uh, livelihoods, companies really adopting to AI at a much different rate, a much quicker rate than we were with NFTs. That was a very specific niche of individuals who really got into it. With AI, this feels much bigger and much more permanent in the sense of it's happening today, not theoretically in what could happen. It's here today, the tools are being built and they're continuing to iterate at a really quick rate. Now, we've been really speaking about how the code interpreter can create data visualizations, but let's dive into other things it can do. One being simple video editing. The code interpreter can not only handle GIFs, but also to other file formats. This user here, Riley, who is actually a prompt engineer, recently prompted it to do this. He uploaded a GIF and asked ChatGPT to convert it into an MP4 with a dramatic zoom. Very 
dramatic effect. ChatGPT doesn't store the data for an extreme amount of time. So if you come back or you wait a while, the data might be gone and you might have to reprompt it, but it will output. So look at this output here. If you hover over the video, you can see there's this dramatic slow zoom. This is wild. This will change the game, not only for people who are working in tech, but also to content creators, for people who are wanting to get into content creation. This is really fascinating. It is really interesting when you start thinking about how this will play a role into so many people's jobs. And I don't think it's at the point where it's going to necessarily take away a lot of people's jobs yet, but I do think it's a tool we really need to learn how to embrace and utilize question though, don't just take everything for as it comes to you, but question it. Is this ethical? Is this right? Is AI even moving in the right way? Is there any controls around it? What does that mean? There's a lot going on on that side of things. I mean, we've seen uh, the godfather of AI, uh, Jeffrey, he recently quit Google and now is advocating for the dangers around AI or spreading the word. There are many stories like that out there. So although I'm sharing with you about tools around AI, it's definitely something you need to really take a step back, think of the big picture and question. Why we talk about these tools and why I think they are important to be aware of is because it's going to happen and sticking your head in a hole and just pretending it's not there or that this is a silly little thing that's gonna go away in my opinion, is the wrong way to be if you are looking to advance and evolve with technology and AI. The other thing we really have to note is from the time ChatGPT was released till now, developers have really gotten their hands on uh, OpenAI's API and been able to really build and tinker and build really crazy, interesting things with it. As this technology becomes more available to engineers and builders out there and more things are continuing to be built, we will see technology naturally evolve at a quicker pace. Yes, even quicker than it is today, which is why it brings up a lot of mixed emotions in many of us. But at the end of the day, we are all in this together, which for some reason brings me peace. I don't know. I guess if you're out of a job sitting on a beach, then I'll join you sipping a margarita or something. No, but at the end of the day, let's embrace it. Let's grow with it, evolve with it. And that's all we can do. Question things, but be aware of this really interesting technology coming out. Code Interpreter was just one plugin out of many plugins that were recently released. It is the one of the plugins that are really trending right now with the examples I have shown you for good reason. Seeing how quickly it is able to take raw data and transform it is pretty wild if you ask me. Curious to hear your thoughts on ChatGPT's code interpreter. Are you for it? Are you against it? Have you played around with it? Leave in the comments. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech, coding, career-related topics, AI-related topics, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks, everyone.